Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Make sure you smash the like button if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Now, this was too funny. I had to talk about it. And I had heard about it, but I didn't make time to get to the bottom of it and do my research but I just watched it and just read the backstory Chris Cyborg UFC woman's athlete you know what I mean that was calling out Ronda Rousey for hell years she just punched the shit out of Angela Mangana and this all stems from Twitter fingers right and I want to give you guys kind of a quick backstory on what was happening I don't know to the extent of what she was saying but Angela Magana was on social media and she was poking fun at Chris Cyborg, right? She was saying like, just basically calling her ugly. Later, she she started accusing her of being on roids and stuff like that, so maybe she, she did something like that. But she says, only one day to vote on hashtag your majesty poll in previous tweet. It's anonymous, you pussies. Who wore it better? Please see previous tweet to vote. And it's a picture of Chris Cyborg, and she's comparing her to the Jigsaw doll from the Saw movies. I want to play a game. You've spent your life fighting in the UFC. Now you must fight for your life. I want to play a game. <laughs> if y'all ever seen the Saw movies, that's how Jigsaw be talking. He was like dying in some of the later Saw movies. Still wanted to play games and shit. He had, I think he had cancer or something. I want to play a game. Like, damn, you need some chemo, dog. Like, what do you mean you want to play a game? I want to play a game. Like, if you don't sit your sick ass down. But she posted that. It's funny. And she's he's basically saying it's a lookalike and she looks like the saw dog. But the only problem with that is you got to be about what you say when you see that person. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing the Twitter fingers, and apparently they were at a UFC retreat and Chris Cyborg went up to her like what is it what's good to see what happened and like see all that stuff you were saying now I'm in the flesh and Chris Cyborg there's people around at the retreat Chris Cyborg was like don't don't be talking shit I seen you you posting this and that and Angela Magana was basically saying I could talk shit about who I want bitch like I, I do what I want I could talk shit and she was like don't talk shit like you know what I mean? Basically, it's bad for your health. And she's like, I'll talk shit. And they're, you know what I mean, having a little cat fight um, with the words. And in the middle of the talk, Chris Cyborg apparently had enough because she was like, she was like, fuck you, fuck you. And the girl's like, fuck you, I'll talk shit. You know what I mean? Whatever they were saying. The video is on the internet. You guys can search it up and find it somewhere. But out of nowhere, Chris Cyborg just stuck her in the mouth, just bop. And popped her in the mouth and then people there was men and whoever else I don't know other fighters around and they kind of created some space and broke it up so I want to give some quick thoughts I thought it was hilarious like just how this escalated it spilled over from social media first of all social media is a, it's meant to connect with strangers but also family and friends I, I, I don't know like now I'm hearing that Angela Mangana is suing her for felony assault I don't know. I guess maybe it's just where you're from. Because where I'm from, you don't you don't start none, won't be none. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not saying anybody has the right to put their hands on you. But, again, if you, if you grew up like where I came up and grew up and stuff like that, you already know the terms. You know what I mean? Like the street code. You know how it goes down. And if you're yapping and running off at the mouth with somebody and then they see you, then you got to make good with all that stuff you were saying in those 140 characters on Twitter. You know what I mean? She looks like the saw doll. Okay. So when she runs up on you, then you have to expect for it. In the Bay, we say funk. You know what I'm saying? You have to expect for it to be funk. You have to expect for it to be beef. You have to expect the problems and I'm pretty sure it's not just in the Bay Area I'm sure that's how it goes down really anywhere you go to New York you go to Philly you can't just be talking reckless about somebody and then when they see you then you kind of talk a little bit and then after they punch you in the mouth for you know what I mean crossing the line and 
and, and harassing them or whatever, then you, you press charges. I don't know. That's just not where I'm from. That's not that's not how you, you get it down. Get down. And at the end of the day, I mean, to each his own. That's what Angela Mangana, I guess, is doing. And people on Twitter are, you know, choosing sides and saying, hey, you deserved it. You were harassing this girl. And then when she's seen you, now you snitching. So I want to know from you guys what you think. Do you, do you believe in the street code or do, do you believe that just the PC way? You know what I mean? Nobody has the right to touch you no matter what you did, even if you provoked him. And then there's a series of tweets from Angela Mangana. She says, talk shit, get hit, then felony charges on your ass and no more job, right? And she said, cops call me. They are looking into felony assault charges due to the circumstance. Hashtag roid rage, right? Rude tweets don't give you a license to batter people. Anyone see the shit male fighters tweet? Hashtag roid rage. P.S. A bully is someone who takes roids to fight smaller people. Side effect of it is looking masculine. Getting called out is pointing out facts. I never said I was suing cyborg idiots. I said lawyers were calling me. It's okay to sue if somebody talks bad, but not for assault and battery. Criminal is getting arrested soon. So, my thoughts, like I said, I, I'm... I'm from the old school and it's kind of like don't start none won't be none if you didn't want those problems then you don't really speak down on somebody if if you're not prepared to deal with the heat when the heat comes at you we know Chris Cyborg is a striker we know she's buff she she can punch you know what I mean and from what I've seen her temperament is pretty chill I don't you don't see I've seen some girls try to get under her skin and stuff like that and she doesn't really engaged but she's really offended by like what ronda rousey was saying that's why she wanted to fight her so bad you know what i mean ronda rousey was basically accusing her of the roys because she failed the, the drug test saying she she's a cheat and she's a man and she has a dick and all kinds of stuff like that again where i'm from is simple it's you don't start none won't be none and i think to me it's kind of the pussy way to create these these situations and then when you're in it now all of a sudden you get the laws involved and you're saying oh you're getting arrested bud you know what i'm saying again i don't know maybe it's a generational thing angela mangana looks like she has cake that's cool but for me it's just it doesn't make sense to create an issue and start an issue and then when you know what i mean they say if you can't stand the heat get the fuck out the kitchen that's kind of what it reminds me of it's like you you create this situation i i personally never heard of chris cyborg going after her or talking about her and again if you're talking crazy on the internet then people are going to see what's up that's just how it goes you know what i mean some people she's from brazil and some people are from different cultures different areas and um that's how i am like in terms of i'm not trying to be no billy badass or tough guy but if if I really had a problem, I'm expecting you to be that same person you were on the internet when you see me. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, then I already know what it is. You know what I mean? Because you can't get on the in the comfort and the privacy and the protection uh, of your own home or when you're around bodyguards or in a different state and be one way. And then all of a sudden, when it gets real, when that threat is right in front of you, you're a totally different person. You're a peacekeeper. That's just not how I am as a person but let me know what you guys think it is what it is i don't know the outcome obviously the authorities are now involved she may get sued from this but i thought it, i thought the whole situation was funny uh, i mean even the saw thing that was, that was funny that was a funny comparison but you got to be ready for the chain reaction cause and effect for every action there's a reaction you know what i mean you get on twitter talking about somebody and you talk about the wrong person then you got to be prepared for what comes with that like they said you make your bed now lie on it so let me know what you guys think who is in the right who is in the wrong i don't know if, if you guys have any other details of what angela mangana was saying besides this i only did a little bit of research to kind of see some of what we're saying and i don't know i just i can't personally respect when when somebody acts completely different than how they were acting on the internet you know what i'm saying like that's that's what's wrong with this society you know what i mean people use this internet and there's no accountability you just can be completely anonymous and you know what i mean people say things that they know they wouldn't say to you i mean i i get stuff too you know what i mean 
And every time I go to these fights, I don't ever see those same people. You know what I mean? Like, oh, ego, you're a bitch. Okay. You know what I mean? I'll be all that on the internet. But how come when I'm at these fights, I don't see those same people? I don't see the same animosity or whatever they had on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So I guess that's just the world we live in. Um, some of the reports are even saying that Mangana got one of her, her teeth knocked out and and it split her lip or something. So, again, you guys can find it on the internet. And that's what kind of goes down. When you, you talk derogatory on somebody, you get popped in the mouth. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego. The future of boxing.